The people of Okobo are welcoming news that United Nations troops are being deployed to the area to provide a new light peacekeeping presence. The town is deep in opposition-held territory in the remote northeast of South Sudan, a country that has been torn apart by violence since civil war erupted in 2013. The community and local authorities asked the UN to send in peacekeepers to provide protection and facilitate the delivery of humanitarian aid, and it has responded. Rather than investing huge resources and time building a new base in, in uh, Okobo, we are putting in place a light and more nimble peacekeeping footprint. We will install basic infrastructure to support troops who will rotate in and out of there on a regular basis. They'll be there every week, but not necessarily every day of, uh, of every week. At a press conference in the capital, Juba, the head of the United Nations mission in South Sudan also announced the official opening of a new permanent peacekeeping base in Ye. It will help create a more secure environment so that people who fled the area during the conflict feel safe enough to return. The extension of protection to communities around the country, including Ye, has been assisted by the arrival of the first 730 members of the Regional Protection Force, mandated by the UN Security Council. Their efforts, along with those of existing UNMIS troops, comes as leaders of South Sudanese armed groups gather in Addis Ababa for the continuation of peace talks at the high-level revitalisation forum. All peace agreements ultimately depend on the parties themselves. Uh, we can monitor, uh, we can enforce rigorously, but at the end of the day uh, we all want, are going to have to agree to wanting peace. Uh, and I hope that that's the spirit in which they, the next phase of the, uh, the, uh, the revitalisation forum uh, is, is, is held in. A cessation of hostilities agreement was signed by armed groups last month. However, clashes are continuing around the country. There's been skirmishes uh, and allegations made by each side about who started the, 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 the conflict. Um, uh, we're disappointed that this, is, uh, this has occurred. I, I guess in some ways it's not necessarily surprising. But as I say, the most important thing is that the parties to the agreement adhere to the agreement. Uh, not just in word, but in reality on the ground. Uh, and uh, we stand very strongly with the rest of the international community um, in, in condemning any party that initiates uh, uh, hostilities um, in violation of the cessation of hostilities agreement. And uh, we, we are doing everything that we can as part of UNMIS to support CTSAM in the job that they are doing. CTSAM is the agency responsible for monitoring, verifying and reporting any breaches of the agreement. UNMIS supports its work by helping it access locations around the country. This work, along with extending its peacekeeping presence and supporting the peace process more generally, will continue to be UNMIS's core focus over the coming months.